Ladies and gentlemen, I know that uh, you are all very interested in uh, the subject of uh, the Grand Regency. Um, we have had this afternoon the meeting of uh, the Cabinet Committee on Finance, Administration and Planning. I convened this as a special uh, meeting today to discuss the issue of uh, Grand Regency, which as you know is a matter of public interest. So I invited, of course, other experts uh, from outside, including the head of CASA and also the uh, deputy governor of the Central Bank of Kenya. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, received a lot of information on this matter, including a lot of uh, documents, and discussed the issue at length. I have decided to set up a, a committee of uh, a, or a, a team of technical experts to look at the documentation that we have and then uh, to report back uh, tomorrow. This team consists of the Attorney General as the convener, uh, Mr. Aaron Ringera, the CEO of CASA, Mr. Mutula Kilonzo, uh, uh, Honorable James Orengo and Mr. Karoli Omondi, who is the Chief of Staff in my office here. So this team will meet tomorrow and then we'll report back uh, tomorrow in the afternoon at 3.30. So uh, thereafter we will then of course take the matter to the, the Cabinet and the Government will then be issuing a statement on this matter in due course. I want it to be known that, uh, as I said on Sunday, that uh, this government takes uh, issues of uh, disposal of public uh, property very seriously, and that uh, we will uh, get to the bottom of this matter, and uh, we will then issue a comprehensive statement. Okay. Uh, Prime Minister, the, the question has been Take, perhaps you could take us to yes, questions Yes, sir. Yeah. What is the mandate of this team that you said? What is it going to be looking at? Because, like, the documents and the public domain, which is known how the deal was signed. Yeah, what you, you, you have just been given piecemeal, piecemeal information. One document here, one document there. Uh, we have also looked at those documents. Maybe you have seen more documents than, than the ones that you uh, have in your position. And we have also gotten more information which you may not have, have gotten because you have talked to the people who are involved in this trans trans transaction. And as you know, this matter also involves another sovereign government uh, which uh, is trying to invest in this country. So we want, therefore, to come up with a much more informed position on, on this matter uh, than uh, is, is known right now. I want to tell you clearly that the information you have is not the complete information. Okay. The finance minister is a member of this committee. This committee is called Committee on uh, Finance, Administration and Planning. So he attended as a member of this uh, committee. The Attorney General is a member. All those other those who attended uh, are members, apart from Honorable James Orengo, who is a member of the Infrastructure Committee, but uh, attended uh, uh, by invitation because uh, his ministry is uh, a stakeholder uh, on this particular issue. The rest were actually just members of the committee. Okay. One, one, one quick one. There are calls even from cabinet colleagues and the finance minister to resign as investigations are carried. What is the position of the meeting today? Yeah, we say that uh, uh, cabinet uh, committee, cabinet members, ought to raise those issues in the cabinet rather than in the uh, public domain. We do not want to see cabinet members uh, contradicting each other in, in public. 
it uh, cast the government in a very negative light. Uh, we want the cabinet members also to share information that they have. That's the reason why I convened uh, this meeting today. Uh, and uh, once we have uh, comprehensive uh, uh, information, then we are going to take this to, to the cabinet. And the cabinet will meet uh, on Thursday to discuss this issue. So is the position remaining that whoever is mentioned at that lead in a suspected corrupt date must resign? Exactly. You have, you have said that, as I said, and I want to confirm again here, that uh, nobody is uh, indispensable. Not the president, not Raila Odinga, nobody else. So we don't, are not going to um, uh, keep any information away from the members of the public. But we don't want uh, the members of the public to act with panic um, on the basis of some kind of limited information. We are going to make a complete disclosure, which is actually our responsibility as a government. So if there any mistakes which you have made, they will be rectified. But at the moment, I don't want to preempt any issues here. I just want to tell the members of the public that the government is seized of this matter and will get to the top of it.